E-Class featured multiplayer in the alpha that just came out. I did a beautiful custom paint job on this. Let me know if you like it. Um, it is definitely one of a kind. Really enjoying this car, though. Having a lot of fun with it in E-Class. Let's drop to the back of the field if people will move and get going here. And let's get rolling. Loving the Lightning McQueen paint. Looking good in the Miata. We're going really slow here. Let's go around some people, hopefully. This car has a little bit of power. Um, I wouldn't say it's a power build by any means, but... I mean, I guess it's still pretty low on power, but it's so light, it's got a little bit of acceleration on some other cars, which is nice. Just giving it a bit of passing power helps a lot. I'm trying to get through this uh, E-Class field here. Down the inside. I'm going to play this safe. I'm not going to dive in there. Try and get an exit. Hold the inside here because I'm going slow already. I can hold it no problem. Get around a couple other cars. Up into 10th place. Down the inside, ninth. Couple other positions here, maybe? Into seventh? Not a bad first lap. I think first place is in that Miata, and I think they're gone. But let's see if I can grab a podium. So shift around 6,800 RPM, just before the red line. Tires are a little cool just from going so slow on the first lap. Ooh, I didn't really have anywhere to go there. Didn't want to hit him too hard either, but I gave him a nice little bump draft. Hopefully I can hold on to my position and I will. Need to get around this car though. Carry the speed around the outside. Can I? Oh no, the Cosmo's going really wide. Let's go back inside. Try around the outside of the Miata. And there we go. Third place is on an island here, all on their own. Looks like first is gone, second is gone, but there's a gap between them. Three left. Third place, definitely within reach, though. See if we can get third place and fastest lap. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Really liking this Alpha as an alternative car, though. Um... Oh, what the heck? I did not expect that. Kind of messed up that corner, but I'll take third place, I guess. Seven point nine back from second place, nine point eight from the lead. I'm guessing I will close in some time, but it won't be enough. A lot of people getting off track penalties through the corkscrew, as always. <laughs> Eighteen seven. Let's get down to some seventeens here. I adjusted the gearing to be right in the power, uh, specific specifically for this track. It's really helped pick up a couple tenths through some of these straighter sections. And through here, fifth was a little long, fourth was a little short, so I adjusted fifth. 
So going up the hill, it's right in power, right in torque. Yeah, definitely closing in on the top two here. A little sideways, going through the corkscrew. No problem though. Looks like those two are getting pretty close up at the front. If anything happens between them, I might be close enough to capitalize. Seventeen six, looking good. That should be best lap of the race, but we'll see after. Oh no. Well, I'm getting a penalty. Yep. Total time penalty is about one and a half seconds. Won't make a difference though. It's not like I would have caught the cars in front and behind doesn't really matter either. Just kind of running my own race for, for a couple laps here, chilling. Don't forget that you can usually run sub tires in E class. I would test it before, but test it in practice. But usually you can get away with soft tires. My tires aren't even yellow, and it's at the end of the race here. Bringing it home in E class with a beautiful paint job. Hopefully you all enjoyed the paint. Yeah, I like this Alpha though. It's a nice alternative car to the the Miatas and the Cosmos and stuff and the the Minis. Um, really fun car to drive if you enjoy E-Class for sure. I like it. Good race.